Hi everyone, let's solve this question. This is ISRO 2010, also this is ISRO 2007 question, okay. So let's solve it. So in this question, the circuit is given to you. So this is a circuit, this is a shift register you can notice, okay. And in this shift register, the initial content is 1010. So this is the initial content of the shift register. Now, with every clock pulse, what happens? You are basically shifting to the right, okay. So this is the right shift register, okay. In this question, he is saying that with every clock pulse, okay, uh, I can say, okay, the pattern gets shifted by one position to the right, okay. Now, and you can notice that, so basically, in this question what is happening that okay this this pattern this will shift to the right after every clock pulse okay after every clock pulse i can say that this pattern this uh, data this data inside this register this is shifting to the right and you can also notice what is this uh, what is this data here so this data is basically exclusive or of all these three okay so this is getting this is getting inserted okay so the exclusive or exclusive or of these three exclusive or of these three that is getting inserted okay and the remaining data you can notice that is shifting to the right okay so this is the right shift register i can say okay and now the question is saying that this is the initial content 1010 after how many clock pulses again we will get this content okay so this this content again we will get so this is what we need to see okay so the question is actually very simple because in this question this uh, this this register is given to you okay and this is a shift register so let's call it a b c d okay there are four flip flops okay and this is a this is a clock this clock is basically this clock is common to all the flip flop you have total four flip flop okay and the question is saying that what we have we have something called exclusive or okay so here we have something called this exclusive or circuit we have here and the, to this exclusive or these are applicable okay so all these are applied to this uh, exclusive or you can notice okay so like this and this you are getting okay so this is the circuit that is given to you now from this circuit you can notice that after every clock pulse because this is a right shift register so after every clock pulse this will happen that okay so this data will go here this data will go here this data will go here and what will be the data that is inserted that will be b exclusive or c exclusive or d that will be inserted okay so you can notice the data the data that is inserted the data that you are inserting that is basically I can say that is B exclusive or C exclusive or D. This is the data that you are inserting. Okay. So I can say that if you are in this state, if this register, if this is the register content, then in the after one clock pulse, what will happen? After one clock pulse, I, I can say that if this is your after one clock pulse, after one clock pulse. Okay. So after one clock pulse, what will happen? This will be the next data. The next data will be B exclusive or C exclusive or D. Okay comma a b c okay so this will be the your okay so if this is your current state of this register then the next state will be this okay so this is your question now in this question the initial state is given to you that is 1010 okay so now just apply this this is the idea this is the idea that if this is your current state then the next state will be what then the next state will be b exclusive or c exclusive or d okay and then a b c and then this a b c as it is you copy here okay so this is very simple now your current state is 1010 okay so this is your current state you can notice 1010 this is the initial state so what will be the next state the next state is very simple exclusive or of all these three exclusive or and what is the property of exclusive or you can apply here you know that exclusive or is one when odd number of inputs are one okay so this property this property we can apply here so let me let me write it down so this property you already know that if you have for example if you have a1 exclusive or a2 exclusive or a3 okay so this is equal to 1 if and only if okay odd number of inputs are 1 i can say okay i can say odd number of inputs are 1 inputs are 1 for example you can notice 1 exclusive or 1 exclusive or 0 this will be 0 you can notice this is 0 but one exclusive or one exclusive or one that will be one okay similarly you can notice one exclusive or zero exclusive or zero that also will be one okay so like this you can notice so you can notice that exclusive or is one when odd number of inputs are one i can say okay so i can say xor becomes one when xor becomes one so this property all these properties basically you already know uh, xor becomes one if and only if odd number of inputs are one odd number of inputs are one okay 
so now we can apply this property so you can notice if this is your initial state then the next state what will be that will be exclusive or of all these three so that will be one okay and then you keep it as it is one zero one okay so just keep it as it is one zero one what will be the next state the next state will be exclusive or of all these three okay so that will be that will be zero and then you keep it as it is one one zero okay so that will be one one zero what will be the next state the next state will be exclusive or of all these okay so you do exclusive or of all these three that will be zero and then you will have zero one okay so just keep it as it is zero one one so what is the next state the next state will be exclusive or of these three so that is zero and then you keep it as it is zero zero one okay so just keep it as it is zero zero one what will be the next state the next state will be exclusive or of these three that is one okay so that will be one and then you keep it as it is that is zero 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 okay what will be the next state the next state will be exclusive or of all these okay so that will be zero okay and then you can notice this you you will keep as it is what will be the next state the next state will be you can notice okay so your next state will be this because the next state will be exclusive or of these three that is one and then zero one zero okay so you can notice that after how many clock pulses this is your initial state you started here this is your initial state now you can notice after one clock pulse you get this after two clock pulse you get this three clock pulse four clock pulse fifth clock, okay after six clock pulse okay you get this and after seven clock pulse you will again get this okay so i can say total seven okay so the answer will be what answer will be seven okay one two three four five six and after seven clock pulse after seven clock pulse again you will get this so the answer will be seven okay so for this question the answer is very simple answer will be seven after seven clock pulse you will get the same data again okay so this is how you can solve this question very easily now let me let me analyze this question a little bit okay so we have already solved the question the answer we have gotten okay so everything is fine but now let's analyze this question a little bit more so if you notice this circuit i told you this circuit is left uh, linear feedback shift register this is what i told you yes or no so you can watch the previous lecture i told you i told you what is linear feedback shift register so actually this circuit is linear feedback shift register okay and this linear feedback shift register this is very important type of register because this is used to create a random sequence okay so remember this is this circuit that is given to you this circuit is basically this is known as linear okay feedback this is your linear feedback feedback shift register okay shift register so you can notice a lot of gate questions you can notice this question and uh, there are many gate question of in the CSE or electronics branch many gate questions they basically use this they are basically depend uh, based on this linear feedback shift register remember to solve this question you don't need to know whether this is linear feedback shift register or not you don't need to know okay but we have already solved the question we got answer answer is equal to seven but now we are doing some analysis of this question okay because they can ask you some new question from this okay so you can notice this circuit is actually this circuit is known as this shift register this is right shift register and this shift register is known as linear feedback shift register okay what is the definition of linear feedback shift register that i already told you in the previous lecture you can watch the lecture of linear feedback shift register that, that is very important okay what is the application of this linear feedback shift register the application is that it is used to create random sequence okay so you can notice here for example here you can notice this is the sequence we got okay okay so now in this sequence you can notice what is 1010 that is basically 10 okay so that is basically 10 okay what is 1001101 what is that 1101 that is basically 11 uh, 13 and what is it? okay so this is 6 this is 6 and you can notice this is this is 3 okay so this is 3 and what is this this is 1 okay so i can say this is this is 1 and then what what is this this is 8 okay so this is 8 and then you have okay this is 4 so can you notice that you, we are getting a random sequence okay we started from 10 then okay so here we started we started from 10 then 13 then okay 6 then 3 then 1 then 8 and then 4 and then 10 okay so this is a random sequence we are getting okay so that is the point okay so we are getting a random sequence random sequence and this is the application this random sequence generator 
okay so this random sequence generator this is the application of linear feedback shift register okay so that is the reason this linear feedback shift register is important okay because this is application this is the application of linear feedback shift register that using linear feedback shift register we can create a random sequence okay okay so if you start from this if you start from this pattern if you are start if this is your initial pattern then you can notice that how many unique patterns we are creating so total seven unique patterns we are creating if you start from here one one zero one zero if you start from this then you will create how many unique patterns you will create seven unique patterns you will create okay now let us assume that you start okay let let me start uh, from some other for example let us assume is this you start from here let's assume this is you okay assume initial state assume that initial state assume initial state is okay zero zero one zero let us assume this is your initial state then what will be the next state so zero zero one zero if this is your initial state then the next state will be what very simple exclusive or of these three so that will be one and then zero zero one okay so exclusive or of these three and then you keep it as it is zero zero one okay what will be the next state that will be exclusive or of these three so that will be one and then one zero zero what will be the next state that will be exclusive or of these three so that will be one and then you will get one one zero what will be the next state that will be exclusive or of these three that will be zero and then you will get one 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 okay what will be the next state the next state will be exclusive or of these three that will be one and then you have zero one one okay now what is the next state the next state is exclusive or of these three so that will be zero okay and then you have one zero one okay now the next state what will be that will be okay zero zero one zero so you can notice that the next state here the next state is what this is this okay so this is the next state again you can notice if this is your initial state then after how many clock pulses you will get this state again so you can notice okay if this is your initial state let us assume this is your initial state then after one clock pulse you will get this after second clock pulse third clock pulse fourth fifth sixth seven so after seven clock pulse again you will get this okay so you can notice again here you are getting seven unique patterns seven distinct patterns you are creating okay and if your initial state is zero 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 then the next state also will be zero 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 so you can notice if this is your initial state then the next state also will be this okay so anyway the point is very simple in this question you can notice that in whichever state you start okay if you start from this state then you can only generate one pattern because there is no pattern you, there is no other pattern you can generate if you start from 0 0 0 0 then you can only generate 0 0 0 0 so only one distinct patterns you can generate here only one distinct pattern you can generate if you start if you start with this uh, this content okay now you can also notice that if you start from any, any of these patterns if you for example if you start from this then seven unique seven distinct patterns will be generated if you start from here then also seven distinct patterns will be generated okay so here you can notice that seven distinct random patterns are generated you can notice because if we, these are random patterns this is this is two and then this is this is nine okay so after this two this is nine and then this is 12 then this is uh, 14 okay and then this is seven seven okay so like this so i can say seven distinct random patterns you are generating okay random patterns so you can notice seven distinct patterns we are generating here seven distinct patterns we are generating here so in this question for this circuit okay for for this circuit okay for this shift register i can say that you can generate seven maximum you can generate seven distinct patterns from wherever you start whatever state you start whatever is your initial state you can generate maximum seven distinct patterns okay okay so this is your complete analysis of this question okay remember this left feed uh, this uh, sorry this linear feedback shift register this is very important from this many questions have come in the gate exam okay and you can watch the lecture the linear feedback shift register this lecture you can watch okay on our go classes youtube channel you can watch this lecture okay okay